This is going to be called the clip show. And so this is where we get to look at Instagram clips, the things that stick out uh, during the past week. And uh, and so anyhow, we I brought up uh, I, I brought in some clips and I wanted to hear your guys' commentary on it. So uh, without further ado, let's go into our first clip, shall we? Yeah, this is, this is Kevin Backstrom. And oh, man. Ooh. Just slashing that lip. It's amazing. He goes into that nose and just slashes across that cornice. Pretty cool. Yeah, big old legs one. Style. Yeah, that Getting just makes me got, want to go he's snowboarding. Got a, he's got a way of making, you know, easy things look really, really fun. You want to emulate it, and you're like, whoa. Good style, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Though, I feel like Kevin Baxter is like a, a mini, shred, mini shred free rider. But he can go big or small, but it's definitely always kind of a mountainous free radish mini shred, kind of like that. But for me to think about doing a nose blunt layback like that would be, you know, to be able to do that is pretty awesome. And then pop back in. Yeah, pretty amazing clip. And so this next clip is Olivier Gittler. And so this is kind of like a resort. It's the backside three, but it's kind of like just the angle is cool and it's just like resort powder. And it just reminds me of going out and having fun snowboarding. Yeah, that looks like you're just out with your homies. You're cruising around, popping off the cat. I mean, that's like a that's like a snowbird thing right there. That's what I think of instantly. It's just having fun with the boys. Cool little angle. Yeah. I mean, every time I see a back three in power, I think Guillaume Guillaume. Guillaume Moore said he's like, back three, the best powder trick ever. <laughs> Whatever in his French accent. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I his back threes here. into power are like, you know, one of the better feeling tricks you can do. Just free riding back three. Yep. You know? And once again, oh, if you're go. listening to this, uh, you can watch this on YouTube. You can watch the clip show on YouTube. It's part Dude. of this real talk. So go check that out. So this is Tommy Gesney right here. Minnesota represent back tail and just pushing it hard through that kink. For those who are not watching this, he's he's back lipping or back tailing over a ledge through a double kink and just making it look like skateboarding. Love it. Yeah, that looks dangerous to me, but he makes it look good. <laughs> <laughs> he's really he's he's one of the kings of the back lips. So this is a suspect sketch, and I this guy stands out to me. And like, if this isn't like gnarly, but it looks so fun. It's just like. It's kind of mini shred, puts his own style on it, but uh, Suspect Sketch is a guy to watch, you know? Dude, that's board control right there. I love seeing this sort of stuff. Yeah, true mini shred artist. A little back nose blunt 270 to, to a uh, high knee rail to pop over. Yep. That map places of fault. Yep. So next up we have uh, Cass Lemons. He's from uh, the Netherlands. So this is kind of interesting. What do, you, what do you think about this one, Chad? He's edgy. It's a creeper, you know, like edgy creeper. <laughs> he's <laughs> like, he's kind of like Michael Jackson in that way. Then. Yeah. Yeah, MJ. it's almost like an MJ. Exactly. That, that's, that's a, a sick one. clip, though. It caught, I saw that earlier this week on the gram myself, and I was like, wow, that's impressive. I kind of, you know, it's creative. Yeah, I have Pretty amazing snowboard park, whatever he's riding there. Yeah. Okay, next clip, we got Ike Helgeson. Uh, Bjorn, you used to ride with Ike all the time, right? We spent a couple of couple of trips together with the Rome days, and uh, he, man, he was always an innovator, that's for sure, like what he's trying to do right here. I think he's trying to hang upside down and maybe slide upside down, like AK, one of the four Gs over there. Meyer, he, needed, he needed sky hooks on his board. That's what, that was Brent's problem when he tried to do it back in the day. You need to put hooks on your nose and tail so it hangs on. But still amazing attempt. So this is probably my cool favorite clip. Slide over. This is my favorite clip. This is Ave Perry from Golden BC. Golden Rider BC. And look at this double bubble. GoPro angle, double yes. bubble cliff. That does real, it real confidence right going into that first one. Right? Jumping out on that pillar. Ave's a he's a crusher from from up in Golden, man, he's just always out seeking out the backcountry and having so much fun, dude. He's, uh, yeah, been around him a couple times and good attitude. Okay, next up we got Kazu. And uh, check out this. It's just like a nose roll once again. Not gnarly, but just looks fun to me. It just is like something that, like, man, this makes me want to go snowboarding right now. 
Yeah. Yeah. Back side, free nose back, roll. Back nose power. blunt. Yeah. It's like bringing the, you know, bringing it out of the pipe into the backcountry. You can just see his tranny skills. And I mean, right there, that just makes me want to go try that. <laughs> Looks so fun. Yeah. So that, that just is like fun clip right there. And so this is the last one. Switch backside. What, what would you call that? Switch backside. 14, Switch back 16. 16. Triple. Triple mute. Or switch back triple the forward. Or, yeah. They, they should you got they should start saying stuff like that to forward back to regs yeah I, I call it I call it back triple to fakey that's a back 16 triple um but they don't accept that when you're trick calling uh, <laughs> but it, is that switch I feel that like that switch back triple wait, yeah, 16, yeah it comes out which of is it. crazy yeah. now because that trick you know I mean just the progression of park jumps these days is is insane like you know this kid there's probably 10 kids doing this trick now and that trick right. anything three years ago you know stuff okay. like that next game gold big air right there like yeah years ago that kid years. dusty hendrickson at the u.s open this last year mm -hmm. too bad there's not gonna be good u.s open because he just basically shut everybody down like on the last jump with like a t-shirt on like yeah the park jumping and spinning is uh is next level these days it always has been but just gets more and more every year. So this clip I just put up for you, Chad. I know you're a, a dog person. So, uh, yeah. I got a dog back there. Yeah, I see. You got uh, dogs in both shots. Stuck with him, you know? What do you do? I can't let him go. So. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> what, what's up with the herd of them, though? I mean, what would they get, yeah. like, pulling a no dog sled? What's going on with this clip? Like, Amazing, right? Just like there's literally like three <laughs> St. Bernard's. So I've never seen a random it. twenty-five dogs walking around. Yeah, it would be a pack, I guess. It'd be a pack of dogs. Yeah, I, I don't know where they somebody's got from. issues with dogs. Yeah, no doubt. So not, their do. their issues not as bad as my issue. I only have two, and they're just kind of left over. So anyhow, that concludes our clip show for this week. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I think we can, uh, you know, get better with that. But I, I would say that, you know, this is kind of like showing uh, what will come uh, with Real Talk and the Snowboard Project. We have a lot of exciting stuff. Not a ton of news right now, but we're certainly going to try to empower you to go, you know, snowboarding as much as possible this season, make the most of it. So I think that is really what we're looking forward to for this season as far as like real talk goes and uh yeah do you have uh do you have any uh closing words chad anything you want to sign off with um thanks for having me hopefully it snows in two weeks be on the lookout for uh uh the 4g network getting first chair here in colorado we might make a cnn nbc and cbs uh we usually make the main networks and kind of blow up for the couple days there and you know just live up the fame and soak it up for a couple days so it's kind of what we got going on and thanks for having me and we'll see you in the next one i guess all right how about you bjorn yeah guys always good to see you thanks for having me on the show and uh yeah let it snow let covid dissipate and uh let's where do we go from here man we'll see you on the next one Cool. Well, thank you guys uh, for being on our first season of Real Talk. Thank you, Dustin, for being on the ones and twos, virtual uh, ones and twos, I guess. <laughs> hey, no problem. That was a great show today, guys. You guys <laughs> killed it. I'm super impressed by everyone. Right on. Hey, guys, thank you for tuning in to our first video edition of Real Talk. More to come from the Snowboard Project. Man, I hope I get some sleep this season. Yeah, it's going to go off. <laughs>